1,000 horsepower, holy cats, that is a lot of power. And you may be wondering, well, why am I watching a video with a bunch of horses? And that is because finally, after what, six months, GM dropped some interesting EV Hummer news, and it's all in this video. We've got a whole bunch of early sneak peek images, a whole bunch of news to share with you. So in this video, we're going to go through this video that GM just dropped, and we're going to give you as much as we can figure out about the new upcoming Hummer EV truck and SUV. So let's get right to it, and let's do a little bit of, uh, well, let's do a little bit of forensic work on this video. So we know, first of all, that... Uh, According to this, the new GM EV Hummer is going to have a thousand horsepower, but let's keep it rolling. What else do we know? What else can we surmise? That is a lot of pound foot of torque, 11,500 foot of torque. We know about the infinity roof. Basically, it's an open air roof, um, very similar to, let's say, a Jeep Wrangler. Uh, but this is interesting. Here's some news. Zero to 60 in three seconds. I know that's a motorcycle, uh, but uh, I'm thinking they're talking about the new electric Hummer and not a motorcycle that they are building because, well, GM's not in the motorcycle business. All right, let's keep going. Um, here's some uh, sneak peeks at, looks like the battery pack. Uh, we'll get to that, but there you go. There's our first actual look at the uh, all-electric General Motors pickup truck. Now, that's not a great uh, sneak peek, but if you keep going further in the video, it gets better because check it out. Now you can actually kind of make out the face of the truck. And immediately I noted... Uh, these recovery hooks, usually the recovery hooks in a truck are just kind of attached uh, to the frame. These look like they're made of aluminum and they look like they actually pivot up and down, which would be really cool. And if we keep going further, we actually get a better look, call it a sneak peek at the truck. There it is. Look at that. And there, of course, is the infinity roof. So you can see that there are removable panels on the roof uh, where you can actually remove the roof and look out onto, well, in this case, the night sky. But there's a lot more hidden in this video, so let's keep going. Uh, I've got the time stamps. Uh, here's a little bit more of the truck. Uh, that doesn't really tell you much. It's too far away. We've seen this video before, but let's keep going before we get to the really big news. There's LeBron James with his incredibly good beard. But let's look at that, adrenaline mode. So I suspect what adrenaline mode is, is very similar to ludicrous mode. And that's why we were looking at a zero to 60 time of three seconds. Um, now, keep in mind that GM has announced that the truck will come with either one, two or three motors. Uh, that's very similar to the Cybertruck, which lets you do the next thing, which is crab mode. Now, I suspect crab mode would be a tank turn. Uh, Rivian has already announced that their truck, and let me show you with... Uh, how about an old Tetra? That their truck will be able to actually do this. That's a tank turn. You can just basically turn on the spot. And not only is that a cool party trick, but it's also cool uh, because, well, it lets you, uh, on a tight trail, turn the vehicle around. I suspect with the GM 3 motor vehicle, you'll also be able to accomplish that very same thing like Rivian uh, has already announced. So we know we have crab mold. Let's see what else they announced. The Altium, Altium? Oh, I can't pronounce that, battery. Uh, basically, that's a new battery uh, chemistry that is made up of nickel, magnesium, cobalt, and aluminum. Uh, GM already has announced that battery, and what they've said is that it will be easier to produce, uh, and perhaps more importantly, easier to recycle. Uh, so, I'll, how do you, you pronounce that? How would you pronounce it, Alex? Ultium, I Ultium, think. thank you. Uh, I'm having a hard time getting my mouth around that. It sounds like uh, an Avengers... <laughs> <laughs> weapon of some sort. All right, let's keep going. Uh, what else we got? Super fast charging. Um, you know, super fast charging today means a full charge uh, in a Tesla uh, from zero to 100%, probably take you about an hour if you have a 100 kilowatt battery. Um, you can supercharge or fast charge a Tesla up to 80% in about 20 minutes to a half hour. And we know uh, the GM's battery will be either 50 100 or perhaps even 200 kilowatt hours. So super fast charging to me would mean anything, you know, in the 20 minute range uh, under current standards, which is good. Uh, and it's very similar to what I think the Cybertruck will do. And of course, what the Rivian will do as well. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, next generation super cruise. So of course, uh, you guys know that Tesla has um, autopilot and then full self-driving, none of which are full self-driving. They're actually currently level two autonomy and level four, four and five, you get into full self-driving. And level five, of course, would be the ability for the vehicle to drive itself under any conditions without any input, emergency or otherwise, from the driver. So, you know, we're at level two right now. We have 
level five to get to. So maybe next generation super cruise, which is now available in Cadillac, uh, will be a like level three where you can actually uh, take your hands off the wheel on the highway or at least on map roads. And in case of emergency, the vehicle would actually be able to stop itself, uh, but you would still have to have a driver uh, there uh, to take control of the vehicle. So I'm guessing that that might be level three autonomy. Hard to say right now, Super Cruise works really well uh, and it would be cool if they actually took it to the next level. Uh, Infinity Roof, we've already discussed that. Basically uh, glass roof, same thing, modular sky panels. Uh, ultra vision cameras. Uh, now ultra vision cameras, that could be a marketing term. Uh, GM has gone really deep in their trucks and adding a lot of different cameras. Um, they do things like uh, putting a camera on the back of your trailer that actually allows you to see through the trailer when you're looking at the display in the truck so that uh, when you look at that camera, it makes it seem like there's no trailer there. So I'm thinking that's something similar to what they're talking about. Uh, Land Rover does a very similar thing where you can actually look through the hood of the vehicle uh, and using cameras, they can make the hood disappear so you can see the obstacles in front of the wheels. Uh, so cameras are big. You know, right now I think a Tesla has eight cameras or maybe even more. Uh, I'm suspecting that's the next kind of frontier uh, that GM is talking about here with ultra vision cameras. Let's keep going. What else do we have? And here comes the uh, big news. That's right. This is what you've been waiting for. It's going to be unveiled in the fall of 2020. And if we keep going, you'll be able to reserve it. I don't know how much money. And of course, production begins in the fall of 2021. And at this point, we should probably talk about uh, what the other trucks in the segment, at least electric trucks, are doing. Uh, Ford, of course, has a hybrid truck coming uh, in the fall of 2020, which is this year. Uh, they have announced that they're building an electric truck. Once again, very similar timeline. We're probably at least looking at another year or two before that gets done. Uh, Tesla has broken ground uh, in Austin, Texas on the Cybertruck factory, uh, and they announced that it will be available in 2021, uh, which means, well, um, very similar time frame to when GM says they'll have their electric Hummer truck. And Rivian has just announced uh, that their truck will be available uh, for deliveries in June of 2021. Uh, so uh, they should be both Tesla and now, of course, Hummer to the punch. But here's the best part. Let's keep going on this video because you will now get to see the outline of the truck. So there you have it. Our best look yet uh, at the uh, GM Hummer EV pickup truck. I like the little uh, spoiler back here. Uh, I do like those uh, wheels and tires. Uh, those look at least to be maybe 33s. Uh, you know, uh, with all the torque you get out of an electric truck, rolling on big tires and wheels should not be uh, that big of a deal. But GM went further. They didn't just show us what the outline of the truck looks like, but let's keep going because uh, they're calling it the world's first super truck. But check this out. Just like Rivian, they're going to have, of course, an electric SUV Hummer. Uh, and there's kind of our best look at it. I see a lot of GMC uh, so far in, in it. Uh, but yeah, so there we have it, guys. Uh, GM uh, is saying that the new electric Hummer will be the world's first super truck. It'll be um, unveiled in a couple months, and then it'll be produced a year from then. Uh, and remember, you saw it first right here on the fast lane truck or in this case on the fast lane now as always this is roman saying check out tflcar.com tfltruck.com tflnow.com and check out our new shirts uh, which uh, are now also available uh, by clicking on the link below uh, and help support the team see you guys next time ciao and if you want to see the rest of the video let's roll that and get a little bit more marketing here and there you have it ciao